couple shows. The one I'm going to show you. Um, no employees. One one employee from Mandalay Bay is is missing, a bellman. Now. Let's look at Jose Campos. Now stay with me. I apologize for the delay to everybody. Public, YouTube, everywhere it's going to be. Um, I should have left the article up, but regardless. There's a new article out that states clearly that Jose Campos is not registered in the state of Nevada as a licensed security guard, okay? which everyone has to be. The article is there. I'll show it up in the feed after. Um, and it just came out today, October 12th. And it is on one of our walls. I just have to go through them. But my source... An MGM has sent me exclusive information and then pictures of the computer screen in MGM that when you look up Jose Campos, okay, Jose Campos just got put in the computer. There's no employment history, there is no contact information, there is no photograph for Jose Campos and he was put in by the CEO directly into the system right before the shooting and now I'm going to show you that evidence I don't think Jose Campos is a hero at all I think Jose Campos is a major part of this and the FBI knows it and they're covering it up so is the LA, I mean, the Las Vegas Police Department. All employees in MGM, Grant, MGM, and Mandalay Bay, any of their hotels that they own, the Luxor, everything, security guards, everyone. They have to be put in the computer, they have a photograph, they have contact information, they have work history, so if he worked there for some time, there would be a work history, even if it was a week, just so you know. Okay. Yes, Melinda, possibly a spook. Exactly. Okay. They may dump this on him that he radicalized, you know, uh, Paddock or some bullshit and that he's tied to ISIS down the road here. They got to do something and they're going to come up with something quick because shit's getting out of control. And the evidence I'm about to show you proves that Jose Campos was not a security guard at Mandalay Bay for not either at all. Or just got there prior to the shooting and put in the computer system and with no photo, no information, no nothing. Zero. He's a ghost, as it was told to me by somebody top in MGM, and I, they sent me the screenshots. So what I'm going to show you, and it's not screenshot, I had them take it with their phone so I could prove to the world that this was definite inside information from my source. So people could not go out there and be like, nah, 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 nah. What this proves is this was a total setup and a false flag. I believe he may have been even the shooter in the window at the end for the grand finale because the guy in the ground was dead for some time, especially when they took those pictures. I mean, and if a real crime scene, they're going to take those pictures pretty fast. And those pictures show rigor mortis setting in, dried blood in the carpet, and then a botched freaking movie job on his head with red blood or and or photoshopped. Okay. And he's being heavily guarded at his home. Okay? Heavily guarded at his home. Now, you ready? Okay. Just hang on. And I emailed it to myself so that no one would know okay this is directly from MGM's computer give me a second now let me go to the first ones okay you ready Boom. This is Jose Campos, right from Mandalay Bay. Location, Mandalay Bay. No photo. Notice no photo on the team. 
He was put in by who? MGM CEO, Jim Moran. Business title, security officer, full-time Mandalay Bay. His manager is Kevin Tice. Cost center for the security is here. Okay. Notice he was put in by finance, which is by... Okay. The CEO of Mandalay Bay put this guy in this system. When, since when does a CEO put in a, a security officer? into the system from the finance department which is the CEO and then now wait I got more okay so we go from here I'm sorry I'm the one to put the yellow in there from the date stamp and the time and everything to protect my source okay now ready we go to the next screen there are other names in here boom really Scott Binsack, you have no sources. Yeah, yeah. Let me get to the full picture here. You ready? So that you can see his name and everything with no information. Boom. These are other names of people I blocked out so that they are not on here and their titles are not given away. Right under these yellow are other security officers. Here's Jose Campos. No telephone number. No email at Mandalay Bay no nothing does not exist he's a spook pow understand this understand this understand this okay nothing nada these guys all exist and I will not give out their name and their special telephone numbers obviously not I'm not going to jeopardize anybody uh, and their names Nada. Zero. Man doesn't exist. Wait, gets better. I got one more. I got one more. Here we go. Ready? Womp. Job history, education, everything for Jesus Campos does not exist. Boom. Does not exist. Nothing. Nada. Zero. Nada. Boom. Nada. Zero. Zero. Total setup. And he was put in. Okay. Jose. No. Jesus. Yes, I'm risking my neck for this information. Please understand this. This is very serious. Very, very serious. And this is right from... Mandalay Bay, MGM's, excuse me, computer system. Pay attention. Pay attention. I'll go back again. Nada. Zero. And anyone on the internet, if you steal these pictures, I can assure you my lawyers will be so far up your ass. If you want to use them and you're with media, you can contact me. Again, put in by MGM, R.I. Jim Moran, that's the CEO, 275 Finance, Security and Surveillance Manager, Kevin Tice. Since when? And I can assure you, I will show you tomorrow, I will show you tomorrow, okay, what a real security guard, what a person will look like in MGM's computer with their face and their information I will just block it out okay pay attention this was a 1000 percent inside job this guy is no I know Debbie this guy is no hero pay attention sorry to say it but he's not This setup in this room and this situation is a false flag. MGM CEO and directors are part of it, tied to some very big players like George Soros, heavy Illuminati, and New World Order folk. 
and now I just put my ass way out on the line because I have more but I've sent all this information to several people and I'm going to say this at the end of this not just this information I have much more coming it is out with four other people everything I have and a special video I did for my car if something happens to me strangely if I'm set up if all of a sudden I'm in an accident all of a sudden I decided to commit suicide and jump out a window not the case if you need and listen and just so you know as I showed you as I showed you the security the my same source house cleaning was told not to come in on the 32nd floor I even posted a copy of my message conversation she she screenshotted her message with the house cleaner I presented I it was sent to me I showed it on the internet it is up on our wall just so you know if you want to see it again boom He doesn't even have a telephone, nothing. He's a security officer three. Shift manager security, manager investigations. I have all their names as well, too. I have everything. I have everything. I have everything. So, for your haters and trolls that don't think I know anybody, understand this. Again, nothing right from MGM's computers if you believe that this shooting was by some gambler who just decided and housekeeping said dust by the way there was nothing in that room the day before and they were allowed to clean his room he was gambling right before this I was the first one to prove that as well remember all the things I've proven in this case I was the first one to say that Stephen Paddock was I was told by my source that he was downstairs gambling pretty much right before this okay it came out not even two days later sure enough that he was downstairs right before this, a uh, little while before this, from the Las Vegas PD, PD in a news press conference. The second thing that I have come out and said, number one, besides all of that, it's false flag tied to this, this, this. I go to Vegas, I find the towers. I found tons of other information from uh, right at Mandalay Bay. I proved to you that there's no fourth floor windows that open and there's no shooter from the fourth floor. I also proved that the taxi cab drivers, vi I found the muzzle flash in the taxi cab driver's mirror on my show live from the original taxi cab driver's video I also proved that it syncs up with sound then we had the the gentleman come out to prove by a sound analysis with math that the shooter was in the range of the towers okay and other facilities in the other building of the Tropicana that was covered in purple that night in purple lights remember everything about this event was purple 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 what happened when Donald Trump got elected Hillary Clinton came out all in purple. George Soros declared purple revolution. Everything is purple about this event from the wristbands to the lighting to everything. Even the buildings around it were lit up purple. I can keep going on. I approve to you Jose Campos was not an employee at Mandalay Bay trust me not an employee and a new article came out and just shows I will find it that and we've already checked that prior to that he's not registered as a security guard anywhere okay so I don't know how his union rep came out and said blah 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 he's not registered anywhere he's not registered anywhere he wasn't and that article just came out but I, I could have proved that to you too nada zero Zero Mandalay Bay location, Mandalay Bay, Mandalay Bay. I wonder what Kevin Tice has to say about all this. Jose Campos' manager. 
No Kevin Tices. He's at the top of this page here on my, my email. On this picture, on the screen. Watch. Boom. See Kevin Tice up here? I wonder what Mr. Tice has to say about Jose Campos. Okay. Hmm. That's all, folks. I already know about the unions. Our people are checking with the union that claimed that Jose Campos was the hero and was working for them. Meaning, all, just so you know, all employees of MGM at every hotel have to be on this screen. Pay attention. Okay? Don't worry, it's going to go viral. Just wait. This video will go viral and it will make it to the right people. It always does. Believe me, I get calls by many people and do many things I don't share with you guys. And there's much more to come that I'm not uncovering tonight. Much more to come.